Hey everyone. So yeah, I think you should be able to recognize the place behind me. At least most of the Isha people. I'm heading from the Isha Yoga Center to Adi Yogi. You can just... Finally, the weather became much better. It rained a lot last night. Early morning actually. I was awake at 3. And then I finally took my chance to go to Adi Yogi. I haven't visited since the past 7-8 days I've been in the ashram. Because it was so massively hot. The sun is so much higher, but by now on the other days, if it was not so cloudy, rainy and nice, it would have been super hot, so there was no chance. Right now, the time is like 7.25, so weather is very nice. I am seeing this Adiyogi after many months, actually. Uh, I left uh, Coimbatore in August and currently it is uh, May. So I was in the Bangalore Adiyogi Center, so I got used to that Adiyogi and those hills. So now again, I'm taking in this scenario. I was missing this Adiyogi and uh, Yoga Yogeshwar chant. I didn't realize. <laughs> yes, because I spent so much time there at the Bangalore Center and I was hearing the chant all the time. It's really good. There is some strange stuff on his lips near, like, what is this thing? I wonder if it is like some paint peeling off that's strange why would that happen and up also something is there i'm thinking of going to the kal Bhairav temple shrine Mm -hmm. It's such a long walk actually, so <laughs> I was a bit hesitant, but I think I should go because I'm coming here after so many months and stuff. Also, it's a really good walk in general with all the scenery and everything and I can see if any new stuff has come up on the way. So Isha Yoga Center, they finally got their online booking system in place. So if anybody wants to book, which is applicable for anyone like Isha meditators or even non-meditators, we can uh, now book for 10 days in a span of two months, which is really good actually. Earlier it was seven days, uh, which I felt little tight because already coming and going, you know, because this place is 30 kilometers from Coimbatore, it's already coming and going, half a day would go in that. So. Of course, long time back, uh, in around 2006, 7, 8, they had only three days stay, which was so rubbish because by the time we came and that time I used to take a bus and all, by the time I would land in Coimbatore, take a bus, land here and then by you land either in the afternoon or evening and then one day you stay, next day uh, you have to leave. Not next day, but like you barely get two days. You're still like just acclimatizing and bam, your stay is over. So 10 days is really good. And there's an online website, which I'll put in the description. You can look at it. Uh, you can do online booking and finish the payment online as well, which is really great. 
because earlier we had to send an email and they would reply within two three days now we can put the date see whether the availability is there and book it right away there is a waitlist option but it's not really working very well so don't depend on it if you want a specific type of cottage then do keep um, keep refreshing the website every uh, now and then so if any room opens up then you can see it and book it that time and uh, in terms of rooms you will see there are a lot of different option of rooms so uh, typically like uh, go for uh, nadi cottage alayam nalanda obviously if you can afford that those three are really well placed and in really good position especially if you are going coming in the summer when it's too hot and stuff there is a like a really good uh, accommodations they both have ac and non ac both options mm, the other is uh, brahmaputra if you want you can take that one shivapadam 3 and 4 is much further away and you have to take a shuttle and the shuttle has certain frequency as one of the best things about ishaga center is you can if you stay in one of these closer accommodations then you can just even wake up at 3 and go and do your practices near the temple temple is of course closed and it's all dark but it's fine i mean you need to do the practices we don't need light and all it's a really wonderful environment and the other thing is that the dhyanalingam temple um and devi temple also you can make use of the first slot of the day so dhyanalingam temple especially door opening happens at 6 i think so a lot of times when i wake up early i don't wake up all the time but whenever i wake up i love to sit and see the door opening of the temple it's like a thing right that dwar would cut and they say and then of course uh, there is a devi um, aarti that happens in the morning all that stuff you can make use of before the major crowd of the day comes in so i've always recommended like i also have a guide to visiting the adiyogi on my blogs one of the first things i say that if people can book at least one or two days and come it's the best because you also get to see our yogi on these timings like i'm already here at 7:30 i could come earlier also but i think the gate there is a timing when that main gate opens but uh, even to experience the ishayoga center even for our yogi this it's great to just stay here for one or two days at least and then just see everything and experience everything spend more time little bit more relaxed rather than doing a day trip especially a day trip in coimbatore center i feel there is way too much to do to be honest and you'll have to spend quite a bit of time walking also so during the uh, even during winter and all the midday will be hot only so a lot of time will you'll get tired and all i need a water break No, oh, they are fast tag. That's so interesting. I don't know if it's working right now, but it's cool that they're at least starting. Ah, uh, here are the charges. I don't know whether two wheelers have fast tags. Like, can they stick a fast tag onto the vehicle? Hey, do two wheelers even pay the toll on highway? I don't. Don't even recall. I don't. Remember them standing in line with us when we are in a car. Interesting. I'll ask someone who rides. So yeah, this view is really great, but I am still quite um, unsure how this whole Kalbara Temple and the to and fro transport will work out because I. I mean it's very difficult to walk from this main gate which is Malai Vasal all the way to Adiyogi and then Ishayoga center I think that will be what 2 kilometers or something So they will have shuttles most likely but then there's always that frequency and whether the mass of people that come on a Sunday will they be able to manage in case you are planning a visit to this coimbatore center and you want to know the layout because things are a little bit far spaced you can check out this other video i have on my travel channel the channel is kind of dead but that video that video has been quite popular and i think it helps people a lot to just 
understand the distances because sometimes you know people don't realize and they end up getting off at this gate for example or and then they have to walk it's very difficult for them also if it's very sunny and all then where they can sit all these kind of things i've kind of shown on that video hey so here we are coming to the kalbhara of temple it's like a black structure they've painted it it was not painted when i was here earlier it was still that original color yeah i guess black makes sense for kal bhairava Ah, it's all closed. You can see from up like this. But it's always this view of uh, just in front of Kalbarava is really cool. <clears throat> If there's a lake here, I guess he's uh, that uh, all those Kalbarava uh, rituals will come here, which is currently happening at uh, near a lake inside the ashram. and then uh, they are planning to put a crematorium also so maybe that will go over here it will be very cool once this comes up i'm just little bit unsure of the logistics i think there was another side view i can we can get little better view let's go there by the way these dustbins are made from uh, tires Uh, one of the swami's interview came in the magazine and uh, he was the one if you want you can check out swami pushya's interview on in forest flower they used uh, the recycled tires to create those dustbin thingies So Sadhguru um, did mention earlier in one of the satsangs that he wants to do this Kalbhara consecration end of this year, which is twenty twenty four. But then he got the brain surgery and stuff, and he has already been mentioning that it's going to be a very difficult consecration. Ah, uh, so I don't know if it will happen this year. Also, no announcement has happened. So. So I spent about uh, eight days, uh, I think, in the ashram this time. Uh, today is Amavasya, and then I will uh, be leaving tomorrow. I uh, spend my time mostly. I did a couple of the the Anlingam visits every day, and some time I spent in Devi Temple. I took a uh, couple of Tirtha Kund dips. I realized everyone has a different way of spending time in the ashram. One of my friends came in from Hyderabad uh, the other day, and his schedule was all about doing Devi processes. 
and he also went for the panchabhuta aradhana i'm a little uh, i don't go for those processes i feel maybe it's because i'm jain because most of those processes don't make sense for me i yeah i don't do them it's uh, it doesn't come naturally and i was realizing the other day they have this process called klesh nashakriya which now i understand and i kind of very much respect it maybe i will also do it sometime but i was just thinking if i was to <laughs> if i was to tell my parents about klesh nashakriya they would get so freaked out they will feel it's like some tantric voodoo kind of stuff because we don't have any such thing in jains at all even then uh, always there is you know if some a uh, person is going through a lot of bad luck then even the jain people go somewhere and end up doing some process from somewhere they find out but in general we don't do so i uh, also uh, met a lot of uh, monks who are friends from before because i'm coming after so much time so i i really was missing all my conversations and also when i'm traveling i meet so many monks like buddhist monks and whichever other monks i meet i always chat with them i have some really good conversations with them and then i was feeling at least isha monks i should i mean i should be as comfortable with them as well so i had some good conversations with some monks that's how i spend my time everyone has their own way of spending time in the isha center so So I check my step counter, and it's about uh, forty-five hundred steps, which is from the ashram inside Nadi Cottages to Kalber of Malay Vasal, and now I'm back here. From here, I will go back to the ashram. So I guess it'll be about six thousand steps. So as you can see there are so many more people now it what is the time it's 8:15 so i got a nice 45 minute quietness i think <laughs> and the sun is so much stronger wow it's still cloudy but it's really hitting actually okay i will go and sit in yogeshwara uh, temple for a bit because it's good for me uh, since i spent so much time in that bangalore center it's good to uh, reenergize that same thing um So yeah I hope you all enjoy this vlog and uh, that's pretty much it if you all have any questions about Coimbatore Adiyogi or uh, even the ashram just let me know bye